All right, my dear friend, welcome back to the channel. This is Salon's Block. You are highly welcome. Wherever you are around the globe, yes. Look, it is a beautiful day. It was a beautiful day. Let me put it that way. It was a beautiful day. Now we are in the evening or in the night here in Southeast Asia, Malaysia. You are also in the evening in Africa, I guess, or late in the afternoon. Or any part of the world you are, you are highly welcome to the channel. Your reliable, informative source in football. Dear friend, I am here to deliver. Trust me to deliver for you exclusively. <laughs> uh, the Obi-Wan podcast, a plea to Chelsea owners. We start from there. A plea to Chelsea owners on Obi-Wan podcast. Coming from one of our own by name Joko on Conor Gallagher. Here we go. Yes, Joko reports from Conor Gallagher. On Conor Gallagher, he spoke length. He spoke at length regarding Conor Gallagher. Not only him, even Obi Mikel himself. And it's something which most of us we've been talking about for so long. Regarding Conor Gallagher, the news going round, it's not palatable. And as the window is still open, we I believe that anything can still happen. Like joke, like joke, my dear friend, they can sell Conor Gallagher and. All of us will start crying. So it's better we speak out. It is better we speak out. These new owners, they are business people. So it's better we speak out. Let them begin to hear our voice. I thank God Obi, Obi Mikel podcast is, is taking it serious. And they are speaking about it. Maybe from that angle, they might head, hear it. Maybe this channel is too small for them to hear. This is what Joko had to say on Konogalaga. It will be a travesty if Chelsea let him go. It will be a travesty. You know when they say something is a travesty? It's a legal term being used in a court of law. Travesty of justice is like when a judge fails to deliver justice in a, in a serious case, they describe it as a travesty. It's, it's, like, a, it's a, like a big error, big mistake. It, it, it's a crime on its own. When it's a travesty, it becomes a crime. When the word travesty becomes, it's a, it's a criminal work. It's a criminal word. It's a criminal activity that becomes a travesty. Travesty of justice. Now, Ko, Pap, uh, how do you call it? Joko says that it, it will be a travesty if Chelsea let Konogalaga go. You hear him link with Tottenham. Please don't. If I could speak to the owners now, just don't do that. That is from Joko. Now, Obi Mikel himself said this. Connor is one guy I can single out that is fighting for the badge. Apart from Connor, there is nobody else. I agree with him 100%. I agree with him. By far, he's been our, one of our best in that midfield. Yes. Having said that, I'll move to some other news and I'll be back and end with Chelsea. Don't go anywhere. And I will go to Pep Guardiola. He has been speaking on Cole Palmer after the win against, uh, after their game against Newcastle. After the game against Newcastle. He said a lot about Cole Palmer. And Bob, who is still with them. This is what Guardiola has to say. He said, Bob can play in five positions. City have another player for many years if Oscar decides to stay. That's Oscar Bob. If he decides to stay. Now he's happy for those minutes, but also Kopama was happy here. Then he told us, I want more. It's natural, understandable. Kopama was equally happy playing minutes. After a while, he now said, no, I want more minutes. And that was how Kopama left. Chelsea, Kopama now with Chelsea, and he's having the minute that he wants. So Pep is wondering, will this guy also stay to that, lot, to that, 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 that number of time? Or will he also be satisfied or will he also be going? Now listen to what Pep Guardiola said. Kopama was happy with that minute, but after one to three years, it's, I want more. And it's natural. It's completely understandable. And maybe I don't give them that minute and they decide to go there. If he, Oscar, decides to stay, we have a player for many, many years. Dear friend. You know, many years moment, here. Nine years here. So. 
Kevin give us listen for the way we play, play I want to be honest with you Alex, the way we play is quite similar without him but to win games we need types of, Ke of players like Kevin play or or, uh, or it's tape. two different sides yes, so the way we play I've had eight years together most of things we know exactly what you have to do we have players that play in the pockets but the vision, the quality, the the final third, the see well, something special. Well, all I'm trying to say is that it's not tactics. It's you can have all the tactics talent. and formations, yeah, but individual. in the final third, it takes individual talent to score. What can goals. I say? Everybody knows him. You know, many years here, it takes nine years here. Individual talent so. to score. Goals. Kevin, give us listen for the way we play. I want to be. Yeah. In a, in in the final third, it's no longer about tactics. It's about individual talent. That is why Kevin De Bruyne and Haaland, they stood out for him. So they can practice anything they want to practice. They can do anything they want to do. But when it comes to the final third, it's about talent. Do you agree with him? Let me hear from you in the comment section. I agree with him. I do. Yes. And that is the reason why we are lacking goals. You see, a few days ago, we, we spoke about having... Uh, Dybala, why? Paul Dybala. In that final third, he can create, he can score. That is a talent. Why Pep Gadu, uh, Ma Ma Mauricio Pochino keep talking about Nkuku? Because he can create, he can score. That is a talent. That is a talent. And that is why I want to go to my next item. Chelsea are having to consider the possibility of trying to find a short-term loan. Short-term loan option for striker from Saudi Arabia in the form of Roberto Firmino or even Karim Benzema. These two, they are from Europe, but they are currently playing in the Saudi league. So Chelsea are considering that. Karim Benzema was in the news. When I spoke about him a few days ago, somebody commented that I'm giving a fake news. But the reality is that there is an iota of truth in anything we report on this channel. You might not get it clearer now, but so long as it's been reported and it's coming up from senior journalists around the globe or in Europe, this is coming from Matt Law. You know who Matt Law is? <laughs> Femino, Roberto Femino, or even Karim Benzema. Now, Chelsea fans, I'm putting it to you again. Karim Benzema at Chelsea. I am for it for a short term. But his salary, his wages is the problem. Unless the Saudi club is willing to pay part of it. Because currently, he's out of favor with the coach. He is, Karim Benzema is out of favor with the coach. Yeah. Many of the players that have gone to the Saudis are out of favor. Or they are not enjoying their stay. One that I'll make mention of again is, is with Neymar. And this is what even his coach has to say from the Saudi Arabia. Neymar is injured. But the coach is still speaking ill about him. And this is what he said. George Jesus, Neymar's coach at El Hilal. He said, Neymar is the opposite of Ronaldo. <laughs> Ronaldo has more passion for football and he makes it his priority. Neymar has more passion for other things linked to his private life, which, which he puts first. If your coach has, is saying this about you, it means that your priority is not on football, your priority is on your private life. Dear friend, well, in conclusion, before I let you go, Brighton have completed the signing of Argentine wonder kid Valentin Baco from Boca Juniors. 10 million fee contract until 2019. You see, they went in for another talent. Next summer, a club like Chelsea, my own club, will go and price him 19 million pounds. They bought him for 10 million dollars. That's about 7.8 million pounds. By the summer, Brighton will pride this same young man, 18 year, 19 year old. How much? 80, 90 million pounds. Dear friend, that is how Brighton does their business. <laughs> hey, well, 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 well. <clears throat> I'll have to let you go. I'll have to let you go. Baka director Deco. He said, questions about Javi. Javi makes no sense. Questions about Javi no, make no sense. Javi has full confidence from all of us. The defeat doesn't change our plans. The defeat in the Air Classico doesn't change the plans of Barcelona. 
The coach, Javi, still has the full support of the directors and the board, according to the director, Deco. According to the director, Deco. Breaking news, Everton and, and Nottingham Forest are expected to be informed tomorrow. I'm sorry to say, that is today. That they've been found breach of the Premier League's profit and sustainability rules. Both will launch a robust defense. On that note, dear friend, I will let you go and I shall be back with more exclusives. Stay glued and watch out. If you are new here, if it's your first time, kindly like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and let me hear from you in the comment section. I appreciate your support. I appreciate your, you being part of this channel, and I'll always for, be grateful. I'll see you in the next one when you see me. Shalom and peace.